Hello and welcome back to Battletech. Um, it's, it's a new, fre it's a it's a fresh recording session. So I'm uh, I'm a little bit lost right now what I'm doing. Um, I think we're just gonna be like trying to raise some funds, um, and maybe buy maybe buy a Cyclops. But I'm pretty sure we don't need to do that anymore. I'm gonna have a quick look at our bays. Um, we have four decent mechs and then we also have a spare decent you know mech and so we don't really need um a cyclops i just want one because they're cool um so that's really all that is uh i've been getting some uh, at least um I'm, I'm sorry i don't know you I, I can't remember your name i'm bad with names but someone in the comments has been telling me how to properly use um auto cannons and so that'll actually be very useful for the annihilator and i do want to make use of the annihilator it's a really cool looking mech i really love the look of this one um but basically auto cannons get a recoil penalty so you have to kind of like hold off on using them every single round That'll be good for, um, you know, since we have a few auto cannons on this one, um, I might, I might even slap some more guns on here, but basically we're going to be firing with like a couple of guns and then holding off on those ones and then firing with the other ones. And that'll hopefully give us, um, a bit more accuracy. Something I would like to do is, uh, I, now that we have a good set of mechs now, um, and I might have to upgrade the Battlemaster. It's fine, but I, I might need something a bit uh, better, a heavier um, assault. Is uh, is I want to get some better equipment. So I do think that we're going to want to go to a different place on the map. One with a black market, maybe. And um, we're travel contract. Is that our next contract? Three and a half stars. Um, I was kind of struggling with three and a half stars. I mean, I'm going to go... Because the thing is, is that, you know, we don't have to necessarily take three and a half star missions. And I don't think I want to. I think at that point, things get can get to be a little bit untenably difficult um, for me personally. Uh, but uh, especially, you know, with uh, other like ex extraneous kind of uh, circumstances, like, you know, we have uh, we're on a desert planet, so we have more heat concerns to worry about or the uh terrain favors the enemy things can make things really difficult for us things can make things that's the takeaway there things can make things um so i am uh well we'll go there we'll we'll be a bit more picky choosy about our missions i wouldn't mind doubling down on a uh faction but it's been kind of difficult to do that i've found i wouldn't like you know it it's just kind of works out that way sometimes i still kind of wouldn't mind a stalker even though it's not really heavy enough for our uh fit you know anymore but like i don't know what is heavy enough we have an exchanger negative 20 percent weapon heat now that could be good but that's four tons the heat bank might be a better alternative plus 15 overheat threshold i wouldn't mind. see these are things that i want Let's buy two heat banks. Two heat bank plus pluses. That's what they have. Uh, exchanger seems like a good idea, except it's four tons. It's almost as much as a, an entire weapon. A light one for sure, but you know, one all the same. So we want stuff like that. Um, we want TTSs. Those are um, basically, ooh, oh, not, not, the, not the one we want. Sure, we could get it, but it's not the one I want. Um, ooh, AC 10 plus plus plus. Yeah, let's buy that. Let's buy two of those. Uh, I'm gonna take a mission to to make up some of this ammo, uh, or uh, sorry, weapons we're, we're we're buying here. This also seems pretty interesting. LB 20X cluster cannon. It's a shredder. It's 12 pounds, or sorry, 12 tons. This thing is, is, oh, a snub PPC. Yo, I loved the snub PPC. I was really sad that we didn't get an opportunity to buy it. Okay, this is a good black market here. UAC 10. Here's a TTS plus, 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 and it's a ballistics one. This is great. This is exactly what we want. Oh God, it's 5 million credits. 
good lord. Oh, I mean, I do want it. I do really want it. But we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do some contracts. We're gonna do some some basic merc stuff. Just merc stuff, you know. When you uh, when you go and uh, absolutely destroy an entire facility and scavenge a bunch of parts, what look we're at like up to four and a half stars of difficulty there. It's a it's just too much, you know. Just merc stuff. We'll take this three star one. This is a capture base. Shouldn't be too difficult. I say that, but it, it could very well be too difficult. Who knows? I mean, this is where, like, my skills as a tactician are really going to have to, you know. Also, we're still losing pirate. Um, I wonder if it, like, do we have our next mission yet? Our next story mission, I, I mean. Because I wonder if it wouldn't be worth just doing that. Hold on. How do we... I noticed we had a, a mission. But it's not letting me look at it now. Travel contact. Well, oh well. Um, usually when, you know, the contract comes up, it will show up. It'll make itself known. So we'll go ahead and take this. And I'm going to go ahead and do... Do for 740 for two cherry picks. I really don't want to lose any more pirate rep because I, I don't want to find out how expensive things get when you're at, uh, when you, when you're ha like hated by the pirates. Right now we're just kind of loathed. Um, this is a good setup. I'm pretty okay with this setup. We do want to get a TTS for the Annihilator, um, especially, especially a Ballistics one. That would be really good. I kind of want to try. I, it, I don't think we can really, but I want to try and turn the Annihilator into sort of the set the setup we had with um, the Marauder is that it could potentially take headshots. Like the auto cannons are great for penetration. So if we can like, you know, if it can hit a head at all, it might be able to take one out. That's the kind of damage we're talking about, especially if I could set that up with an AC-20. Like if I could, I could like take off a couple of AC-10s and put on an AC-20 on there, and we could we could get a mech that could like one shot kill uh, other mechs. It's a it's a bit of a lofty goal, but you know you know it's potentially possible. Um, outside of that, I mean, we really just want more equipment um, that helps mitigate certain things like heat banks. I should have equipped those before I did this mission, I suppose. But um, you know, we we want equipment that really uh soups up our mechs because now now that we have you know a good set of mechs we the, the only way, way we can kind of improve things is by giving them better weapons and better equipment and better stuff cockpit mods and and all kinds of good stuff like that and then we'll t do whatever campaign quest that comes our way um and uh yeah i mean um it's it's only uh up from here we just have to make sure we don't lose any more pilots a lot of comm chatter coming from that factory. Let's move up to a good observation point and recon the facility and its defenders. Once we know... Okay. I'm a little bit worried about turrets. A little bit worried about turrets. Wow, we get, like, no... That, that crab moves... I guess not even just the crab. All of our mechs are so slow right now. The Highlander is actually our, our fastest moving mech because... We don't even gain evasion anymore. We can't even get evasion. You betcha. That's that's how slow these mechs are. Okay, we've got contact. So far we got a ooh, a 70 ton and a 40 ton. We should be able to handle that. I am gonna try a bit harder to um like pull back a bit i i think i should focus try and kill um scouts so that they don't have as much um chance to 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 kind of take extra shots on me this is our lrm this is our ac so i'm wondering if we shouldn't um if we oh we can't really get far enough forward unfortunately so i'll have to i'm in the forest now i I think I'll just go ahead and sensor lock that guy. 
It's an archer. He's gonna step forward, maybe take a shot. Can't take a shot. All right, so um, we're gonna be alternating shots. That means we're gonna be turning off a couple of things and then taking a shot. And the reason we wanna do that to start with is so that these ACs aren't uh, taking a recoil hit um, on my next turn. So, you know, like they, they can fire on the next turn and that way we can alternate between those and then we're not um, taking recoil penalties. We have a 95% chance right now. We do have an 18% chance. These things do 72 times 2 or 72. That thing, see, like, if we, if we hit the head even once, there's a chance that we could take it out. It's probably in the forest, so it's got damage reduction, but we can but try. It does have some damage reduction. But, uh, you know, like, we may as well try it, right? Head hit, pilot injured. And yeah, it had a 40% damage reduction, so that's almost half. But still, um, you know, we're, uh, I'm, I'm learning. I'm still learning. This game is great. I love this game. Um, this game is completely, like, turned around my, my opinion on, uh, like, tactical RPGs. I liked them before. I kind of, uh, you know, if I find another one as much as I like this one, then I'll, I'll have to, like, I'll have to, you know, tactical RPGs are just my, my, new, my new best friend. So I'm I'm very happy with uh with this. I would love to put some heat banks and stuff on the awesome. Um Roger. That almost looked like a headshot. Well he knocked it over. That's kinda nice. It'll be able to get back up on the next turn. But we might be able to get some turns first. There's a twenty ton. We actually have to be kinda worried about the twenty ton. Um, okay, so if I move forward a little bit, uh, instead of doing a sensor lock, we'll get a little bit of evasion, not a lot. And, uh, but then we don't have to use the sensor lock. I suppose the sensor lock is still ideal. Waiting for orders. So now if we step forward a little bit, we get, um, we're in our optimal range. For an abandoned base, it's awfully lively down there, Commander. We're getting a report that additional pirate re reinforcements have been spotted, so expect more contact. The area isn't clear. So now we turn off these and turn on these. And then we're going to take a shot on the archer, and we're going to try and hit the head. 95% chance, and we have a 16% chance times two. There we go. And you know what? That's pretty good. And you know what? I, I'm, 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 I'm really happy with that. Like... That's really good. Um, I learned a thing. I applied new knowledge. And I uh, felt pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to aim for the center torso on that locust. We really don't want that locust to get a chance, though, even though we're taking a huge penalty with the evasion. Oh, look at that. We got lucky. We don't, we don't want that thing to be able to scout us. Now we have a... Um, a good line on that that base we're probably gonna see more stuff there's a 40 ton that's fine 40 ton is fine and it just moved and um we can we can actually move up and shoot it this is exactly how you want a uh you know this is this is what you want your mission to go how you want it to go honestly i kind of just want to go for the head here Well, we hit the head, but like once. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh huh. Okay, so now we turn on the other ones. It's going to be a little annoying setting that up, but it's fine. Or doing that each round. Here we go. Orders. Confirmed. You'll have to excuse me. Like going for the head each time. It's just too tempting. Um, yeah, I mean, like, probably sometimes it's going to take longer to kill a, a mech than it should have because I wasted a lot of turns going for something that, you know, that is chance-based. 
but like i've increased my chances pretty good at this point like i, I think it's worth going for it especially when you have only the one mech on field i know that one just turned up but okay we should be able to take this out there we go Uh, okay, we should be able to see that. Oh, that's an 80 ton. Wow. I hear ya. We're gonna have vague... Now, I do want to go for the headshot on the Zeus because we actually have Zeus parts and it's an 80 ton. So, I think that's that's worthwhile if we can kill it. We did, I think that looked like a good headshot. That really did look like it hit. No, I hit the shoulder. Shoot. Good to go. Moving to position. Okay. Um, we'll just go ahead and fire on it with LRMs. Okay, something got exposed. Probably the right shoulder. Or sorry, left shoulder. Nice. It pretty much missed with all of the important stuff there. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Uh, I don't really like this, but I don't care too much. I just need to hit it with the PPCs and it'll do some nice damage and also, uh, debuff them. That was, those were all good hits and we crit the, the large laser. Oh, bummer. Okay, um, gonna go for that headshot again with the glitch. I don't like where we... Okay, there we go. I, I just want a solid line of sight. Let me just have a look here. Uh, if I do this, it says it's 95% chance. 12 feet. I'm just looking for height. We I guess we have the height difference makes enough of a difference that the recoil doesn't really matter. But 95% chance, we have a pretty solid uh, lock on here. All are go. We knocked it over. Good enough. So what do we got? We have a 60 ton. Ugh, bummer. 60 ton and a 35 ton. That's fine. Yes, Commander. Can we... Can we jump... Oh, we... We're in a really bad position here with Decker, so we can't actually hit hit that with anything meaningful. We can hit it with the LRMs, and the LRMs are fine, but not uh, not the big stuff. I guess the big stuff is just the gauze rifle. The gauze rifle's great, don't get me wrong, but, you know. Again, I'm going to go for the head. You'll have to excuse me, like, I really just want to try and get Zeus parts. If I could get two Zeus parts, I could complete a Zeus. We don't need to do a precision shot. We can just do a normal shot. God damn it. I don't want to kill that torso. Um, I'm going to turn off some of the LRMs. All of the LRMs, actually. We'll either hit the head or we won't. Damn it. Wow. That really sucks. Oh, God. And we broke off the arm. If I kill, if I destroy the center torso, I'm pretty sure I only get one part. Whereas if I um, destroy the head, I get what's left. We're almost overheating. This uh, this mech's actually got pretty good heat distribution. Whatever I did, we destroyed the center torso. Damn it! God damn it! Um, whatever I did to that mech is is really done a lot for its heat distribution. We are on a pretty okay planet for uh, heat right now, but uh, still. Okay, I'm just gonna move um, so we can hit that 35 ton. It's just a Jenner, but we can hit it. I'm not gonna do anything fancy here. Fine. I hear ya. 
Now I do I guess I'm gonna have to like move down off this hill Unfortunately, I don't think that there's any good way of doing that. I'm just gonna have to go the long way around um, Got a pretty good shot on that Jenner. I'm not gonna do anything fancy here. So this UAC I believe yeah refire plus four um, Penalty, I think that's the penalty. So that has a refire penalty This AC seems to not So I'm not sure um, how it works But anyway, we've got good odds with all of this. So I just won't fire with the UAC Nice we knocked it over All right, just Decker left can we no we're still just using LRMs. That's fine. The Jenner is down so we can probably get some good hits We've only got 65 missiles left That's you know worthwhile worthwhile I still personally think that any mech with LRMs or multiple guns like that should probably have multi-hit So it kind of sucks that Decker doesn't have multi-hit, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape about it The awesome is uh, proving its worth for sure. I'm, I'm enjoying the awesome What is that? That is a 55 ton Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, we've got um Got everything kind of like in our sights now, which is not necessarily a good thing Let's see if we can't get a good shot on that victor Don't need to tell me twice. Um, do precise shot. It's only got Well, it's got a bit of armor, but like I say, we only need to take one shot on it We only need to hit it once in the head for this to be worth it we didn't I need to try and figure out how when it's worth taking the headshot versus when it's not because it said that I did injure the pilot which tells me that we hit the head so if we hit the head how come we didn't destroy it okay I'm gonna go for the straight line shot despite the fact that it's worse objectively yeah we did hit it so how is it that it survived? Confirmed. I want I want everyone to have an a TTS. I guess where we are is good. I'm gonna do another precision strike. Like maybe this isn't worth it. Uh, yeah, it, you know what? It's not worth it. Uh, if I'm taking three shots at the head, it's no longer worth it. What's on that left uh, or right arm AC 20? Yeah, let's go for that shoulder Okay, that was good Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yeah, if we're taking three shots on the thing and it's still not happening then I gotta I gotta learn to cut my losses And like getting a PPC, uh, sorry, an AC-20 off the board That's target. so much more meaningful than like, you know, maybe doing some damage I, you, you just have to forgive me, I got a little addicted To, um, being able to, to one-shot kill It was good, it was really, really nice What can I say? You can't, can't hardly blame me, can you? One shotting, uh, uh, you know, a mech. It's really nice. Wow. We are overheating. I gotta put some, um, I gotta put some heat banks on the, uh, king crab. It's suffering. Should be, no. I was hoping we would knock it over. Ooh, that's some nasty damage. Commander? I really just want to take out the the victor. It's 
uh, turn off the UAC. So yeah, it looks like the auto cannons themselves don't have that much um, like recoil damage. It's just a UAC and I'm not sure why. I'll have to figure these things out, but it's fine. This should take it out. It. We knocked it over. That's a critical hit. We did not uh, kill it. One shot with the gauze rifle should do it though. On my way. There we go. Target eliminated. Okay, uh Medusa with multi hit. This is gonna be very valuable because like I say, that multi that PPC is valuable not just for damage, but also the uh, debuff. Nice. Nice. Very good. So that should save us a little bit of damage. Um, not a huge fan, I guess. Is this? Yeah, okay. We can hit that Shadow, shadow Hawk pretty well. Can we, like, melee hit? Yeah, we can melee hit the... Can we? Does it... We should be able to get close enough to melee hit the quick draw, but it doesn't look like we can. Which is a shame, because we would do 250 damage on it. We could do a DFA. Kind of insane, but I don't hate it. Yo! Right arm ex uh, exploded. Okay, um. Let's try and kill this quick draw. Really don't care to try and get parts for a quick draw. So I'm just gonna hit the torso. There we go. We do have to be a little bit concerned about ammo. A lot of my stuff is ballistics based now. Uh, do we have a better chance now? No, we don't. This thing has an ideal or minimum, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, uh, it sucks. I mean, those small lasers don't really benefit us as much as the uh, gauze rifle. Copy that. Nice. I love the gauze rifle. Heavy damage. It's so good. We are overheating. We can turn off one PPC. And then we actually, like, gain, you know, we cool down quite a bit. I love that. I love that for us. It's going to get back up. But that's okay. This is, uh, you know, like pretty comfortable in terms of difficulty. I would like to do more missions like at this level. Kind of amazed we didn't blow off that arm. Or did we? It was kind of hard to tell. There were a lot of explosions. Waiting for orders. And then we, with the auto cannons, just kind of blow everything away. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't actually blow off the arm. That's crazy. Yeah, let's take the chance with the UAC. There you go. That's the drop ship. We're going to get in and out quick. Occupy the factory. Are we not done yet? I figured that was like everything. We're not done yet. Well. Okay, we're gonna have to sprint around. Got it. Move into position. I really love this feature, by the way. I've been really like I've been playing some other tactical RPGs, not a lot, but some. And something I really appreciate about this game, and it's such a small thing, but being able to move all of your 
mix at once when you're out of combat it's just such a nice quality of life uh, feature restoration forces are setting up defenses we're good we're done cool exactly 30 minutes on the mark that was pretty good we got more pay for that too destroy the occupying enemy force no one took any damage uh we did wow we actually get, the the king crab took a little bit of damage on that leg um what do we get on the zeus yeah we only get one part on the zeus that's really apparently i only i don't have any parts for the zeus hmm but actually well i i don't care about the archer do we have any weapons we want to take like yeah it might be better to take these medium lasers do we have any heat banks i would love some heat banks no heat banks huh um i'll take the extra accuracy medium laser and i'll take the extra damage medium laser and maybe we'll get some we'll get lucky with some mech parts we got the zeus part look at that sometimes and we got the other medium laser yo that's that's the game being like you know what babe you deserve it you deserve it thanks a lot thanks thanks battletech i appreciate you That's what I get for uh, using the auto cannon correctly. Lady Arano's contract to liberate House Galas is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think we're ready. Yeah. We're going to need to do some mech repairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, wouldn't mind maybe doing a bit more shopping. We're at a really good black market right now. How long is that going to take? one day uh yeah could we put some heat banks on the annihilator wait no not the annihilator the annihilator is actually totally fine for heat it's um i mean the highlander have we even been using the highlander i think we have i think it's the awesome that needs heat banks No, actually, this was fine. The awesome was doing very well for heat. I mean, it could always do better, but I don't think uh, I don't think it could be much better. Um, who was what? What mech was uh? What's his name in? Man, uh, not Mandrake. The uh, the. Uh, shouldn't say the other one the other one that has a, like kind of an edge edge lord voice medusa who was he in i'm trying to remember who he like what what uh what what mech was he in because um that one could probably stand to have a cockpit mod okay i think it's the crab actually let's stop work on that for just a sec and refit it it could stand to have some better um, heat. And, like even the LRMs are heating the thing up. Kind of wonder if it wouldn't be worth swapping out LRMs for an AC-20. We have a l enough long range. Yeah, we've got enough long range. We don't. I don't think we need more long range. But I'm kind of getting attached to these auto cannons a little bit. Certainly, we could trade out one of these large lasers for a large laser plus plus um we could go full lasers with uh, no we couldn't i don't know why i think that i wonder if it wouldn't be worth doing short missiles what am i saying that's stupid mm, i guess i'm just thinking out loud honestly we could do like short missiles and like a medium laser on the on that right torso and the reason i'm switching it uh, switching it up a bit is because i think that the king crab it's doing okay but these largely uh sorry long range missiles aren't really doing a good job of taking things out i guess they serve multiple purposes 
um let's just let me just focus i guess and throw a heat bank on here because that's that's what i need to do um let's take off a couple of these heat oh the heat bank is actually massive can i that's f six slots that is six slots how in the world am i gonna make that work feel like the only way I can make it work is on an arm and I don't like that because it's like the arm if the arm gets blown off it's just cooked right and this thing actually doesn't provide any heat distribution it just lets it generate more heat hmm I don't think I like that. It's good for maybe something else. It would be good if we were going like full lasers. Like I could take another... Let me take off an LRM. Take off two LRM fives. Um, we'll put on another large laser. And I'll put another heat bank on. We're overweight now. That's fine. Um, I'm also going to put on another heat sink. We need uh, we, we need more heat banks. I don't know why I put those on. Those actually mean that the job takes longer. Instead of putting the ones back on that I took off. Similarly, the large laser I took off, took off we can just put it on. That also saves me money. Um, I can take off one LRM ammo actually does the ammo not cost any weight no it does i wonder why it didn't shave off any weight i like having those jump jets they don't really buy us a lot but they're just kind of nice uh maybe we'll take off one more lrm5 that actually isn't bad we go kind of full lasers a little bit um one thing i would like to do is like put some more heat sinks on um take up one jump jet i know that's not that means we're not going to jump be able to jump like at all but i would prefer to have another heat sink like this thing is going to generate a stupid amount of heat um but having a lot more max heat helps a little bit and then what we need is more heat banks i'm gonna check to see if there are any heat banks in here i don't think that there are but you know uh we don't really we have an exchanger less weapon heat but that is really heavy and then in the black market equipment we've got we still have that tts which is nice Okay, let's just, um, and then repair that leg. Let's just go with this. It's not great, but it's something. We can try it. I, I, I like to, you know, experiment. I'll let you know when that's done. Um, the Highlander is doing a good job for being a long range beast. I don't think that those small lasers are serving us basically at all. Um, I would love to put a TTS on this thing. Heat sink D, that's what we need. We need heat sink D. Um, for something else. I wonder, like, this thing generates 5 heat, 18 heat, and 14 heat. I wonder, we could take this off and put it on the crab. This thing weighs what? 1 ton? Yeah, so it's just better weight wise. And we'll put on three heat sinks. Those actually generate or uh, uh, reduce heat more. Um, and then we'll max the armor, and that's pretty good. And that way we reserve the heat sink D for probably the crab. Um, annoyingly, I've already set up the crab, and it's going to undo everything I did, so I don't want to change that yet. Um... I, li I like where the Annihilator is at right now. I think it's actually in a very good spot. 
if I had to make one change, well, we, one, one thing we can do is I believe we have AC 10 plus plus now. Yeah. So let's go ahead and throw that on there. That's only an improvement. Sorry, you have to, for aesthetic reasons, I, I like to swap those around a little bit. Um, the only thing that could maybe put this over the top is putting on the other AC 10, but like how? And like, let me just check this here. UAC suffer from substantial recoil effects. AC 10 suffers from recoil effects from continuous fire, which is weird because I really didn't see those effects. The AC 10 does 60 damage. The AC 5 plus plus does 55. Honestly, if I could find some more AC 5 plus pluses, I would take them over the AC 10. And in fact, the AC 5 plus plus, I don't know if it's a, another effect of this plus plus, but it has very long range versus just kind of long range. Um, I would love to get more AC 5 plus pluses because they are, um, look at that, like eight tons versus 12 tons. We could put like another AC 5 plus plus on here. Obviously, I do like the UAC plus plus because it's two shots. It's literally double the damage. Um, but anyway, we don't have them right now, so I'm just going to swap, make this swap. And that's good enough for now. Um, and we'll just leave it at that. The one thing I wouldn't mind doing, we have a ton of really nice medium lasers. I think the only thing that can use that is maybe the Highlander. No, not the Highlander. What is using? Oh yeah, okay. It's um, awesome using PPCs. We don't need that. So I guess it's just the Battle Master, which we haven't been using. This thing can use them. kind of interesting actually so this uh, the a plus 10 damage medium laser is 35 versus the large laser which is 40 so like at that point it's really worth taking a medium laser plus plus over uh, a large laser because it's more than half or less than half i should say the yeah one ton versus five tons right so we could take the large laser off take these off take that off I know we are we're basically restricted by how much weight we can carry but we could go like boop 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 and suddenly this thing is like really incredible we can also take this large laser off hear me out um put this on there so now we've got like all medium laser plus pluses which is great. We've saved we've saved a lot of space. I still like the coil M in theory. It should be really good for taking out scouts. This is honestly this is what I'd like to put more heat sink D's on because these are going to generate a heck of a lot of heat. But also we could put on like an AC10. Maybe not an AC10, AC5. Not even that. Dang. How about short range missiles? SRM6. SRM6 could be is doable. Yeah. Um and then we put on some ammo. Just like two. I would I wouldn't mind putting on um, some cannons, but I don't like I guess I regret selling those AC twos. The AC five is just not doable. Eight tons is just too much. But we've actually got like room left. One thing I could do is um, I know it's a little bit absurd, but we could put on the, the regular heat sinks one two, and then suddenly we're good again. This is a uh, battle master is actually looking pretty good at this point. I might try it in the next mission. I'll let you know when that's done. Um, 
you know what let's put the last heat sink on the awesome i honestly think we're we're very close to being able to um continuously fire with uh the ppcs and that's just amazing like if we can get to that point that would be so cool just absurd amounts of heat sinks heat sinks for days if you can fire three with three ppcs um without you know having to wait come on come on you gotta try it right so we're gonna wait um argo's current budget includes a line item for crew entertainment so after polling the um, morning briefing for preferences darius places an order Soon a shipment of popular new Holovid chips from Mictor arrives. Mix of action, historical drama, horror, screwball comedies, and animated features. Circulate the Holovid chips among the crew. Um, schedule a regular Holovid night. Reserve the private screening room for the senior staff. I mean, this seems like it would generate the most since it requires the upgraded lounge. But I actually really like the idea of scheduling a regular Holovid night. Darius instructs his staff to convert the lounge into one massive Holovid theater one night each week. For the next showing, a random draw from the chip stack schedules an episode of the campy political thriller Undercover. Glitch and Bug end up getting into a content contentious battle debate Sorry, on the political history of the period, especially the role of the territorial states of the Star League. Glitch has gained the following tags for 30 days. High spirits. Bug has gained the following tags for 14 days. Low spirits. Okay, that's actually totally cool with me. I won't be taking Bug on the next mission. Okay, let's wait out the repair work. And I'm gonna... I, I would love to do that campaign mission, but I think I'm just gonna do another regular mission because I, I am actually kind of strapped for time right now. Let's see if we can't take something somewhat easy looks like a lot all four and a half stars actually looks like the next campaign mission would be easy the easiest option high tonnage torian lance will shortly make planet fall at the behest of a group of petty nobles and commercial interests intel su suggests this is a vanguard of a larger force this isn't an urban area i haven't done that yet all right let's give it a go I kind of want to try this. Oh, God. Well, I guess it's Torian Concordant, so, I mean, it is worth doing this, but the pay here kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I, I would rather have two cherry picks and 11 parts. Okay, let's um, swap out something. Let's swap out the Highlander. For the battle master just to reapproach it we've got like almost all new gear here and all really good gear so we should be well equipped for something like this um i believe the urban biome is something specific to one of the dlcs i bought <clears throat> and it is exactly what it sounds like so this should be pretty interesting all right Here's hoping that this mission isn't, like, absurdly difficult. Yo! Yo, five dollars well spent, honestly. <laughs> Enemies detected in the area, Commander. Intel reports that the Torians sent a pretty serious lance of mechs. Also, keep an eye out for harassing units from the locals. Look at this! This is really cool. I love this. Um... Wow, yeah. Very, it's kind of kind of surprising, honestly. Like you don't expect to see, like after spending so much time in like foliage and you know, you're like, yep, this is this is the world. I was like, no, I mean, there's cities. <laughs> I kind of wonder if like the stray shots will like blow blow uh, buildings away and stuff like that. Like that'd be pretty cool. 
I'm a little bit curious about how the king crab is going to perform. It's like maybe the one thing I'm a little worried about. King crab has a lot more energy based weapons and it's going to generate more heat and I'm probably going to have to turn off most of it. <clears throat> so we'll see. We've got a 65 ton. That's fine. Glitch has high morale. Can we actually get a shot off? No, not really. So that's fine. Why don't we just move up and then do a sensor lock? We've got a thunderbolt. So glitch should be able to take a shot. Maybe? Nope. Good to go. Decker? Decker can't hit it? Right. Because uh, Decker is in a battle master now. Interesting. What can I do for you? Yeah, we don't really have a long range mech right now. I mean, we do. It's the Medusa. It's Medusa's um, awesome. I think. Also, yeah, that's PPCs. Um, we don't really benefit from moving too what far forward. <clears throat> So we're just going to hold back a little bit, let it come forward. There it goes. We'll generate a little bit of evasion, but that's fine. We can actually hit it now. And with that extra evasion, the coil M is going to do some extra damage. Heading out. That's the benefit of the coil M. See, we're going to overheat with firing everything once and turn off the SRMs. We don't, I don't want to take a 50% chance here uh coil m is gonna do 75 damage if it hits that's how much we you know this is this is quite cool um we definitely need to get more heat distribution on this mech but hey yo the coil m looks cool if anything oh god yeah okay so stray shots do just destroy buildings Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of horrific. But, um, oh, I see. Destroyed building. They provide cover. Reduced movement and a spotting distance, but they provide cover. 20% damage reduction. Wow, so, okay, we don't just have, like, cool environmental effects. We also have, like, env environmental advantages. Quite nice. All right, let's try the crab. I'm a little bit, a little bit, a little bit concerned about the crab. Uh, we are gonna. Whoa! Look, look at the heat bar. We can actually fire with everything twice before we even approach the, or get to the heat bar. Let's go ahead and try and blow that leg off. Heat sink destroyed. We didn't destroy the leg, though. Waiting on you, Commander. We can try and finish the job on the leg. Uh, on the neg. The leg. Good lord. And uh, have the auto cannons finish, like do something a bit more interesting. Uh, we don't need to fire with the coil M. It's not going to do very much damage right now, and. We can... What, what can we turn, turn off? Um, I wish I had... I'm not a huge fan of this, like, interface when it comes to seeing stuff like this because it's not super helpful. Uh, 50, we'll get rid of the 50% crit. There we go. We destroyed the leg. And knocked it over. What? Where are we being shot at from? Something over there, huh? Okay, uh, let's try and finish the job and then maybe back up. The leg has 105 armor we could try and destroy it it's 175 180 damage 
Or I could try and just go for a headshot. Or I could try and... I mean, we have a... It's about the same amount of armor trying to hit the torso, but we have a better chance of hitting it with everything. Let's do that, and then we can try and take out the Thunderbolt now. Uh, no dice. We got a crit on the ammo, though. Those are some really nasty hits from the Rifleman. Yeah, King Crab's taking some major damage here. Okay, uh, I am gonna try. Oh, is that the Thunderbolt's dead? I guess I, I guess I, I, I did have dice. Dice were had. Um, let's try and do a multi-hit with the PPCs, and then I'll back up with everyone else because the awesome has quite a bit of armor right now. So we are generating heat still. Um, you know, kind of hard not to with PPCs. But, like, we're not generating nearly as much. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is a lot more comfortable. Roger that. Oh, don't miss. I guess I should have, um, dedicated two shots to the A. Because it had more evasion. Okay, we're gonna back up. Especially with the crab and maybe just do some long range hits uh, We can try and hit the rifleman rifleman's almost knocked over so doing some damage With the LRMs, you know increases the odds of knocking it over Waiting for orders. We'll just move a little bit with the The annihilator it's got some it's still got armor and uh, I want to I want to try and do some stuff with it Blow off that leg Should be good Firing everything I've got. Nice side torso destroyed pilot injured knocked over At the very least we should try and make use of the tur like uh, environmental cover We unfortunately can't really see anything right now. Oh, I see the coil M does damage based on our evasion. So it should like, we should be putting that on a, on a small mech, not a large mech. That's interesting. So I could like move up a lot. The thing is we, we we're generating a lot of heat right now and I, I can't even really use it properly. So I should back up. And um, cool down, and then we can come back out, build up an evasion bonus, and do some nice damage with the coil M. Okay, awesome's taking some nasty damage. Let's back it up. Major armor loss. Coordinates. So the annihilator is exposed a little bit right now. I, I kind of wish I could have taken out that rifleman, but you can't have everything, especially when you're trying to, you know, keep everyone safe-ish. Good to go. But um, we can potentially do some good stuff here. Can we take out the rifleman? You think? I think we can. Honestly, I think we could just kill it here. All weapons are go. There we go. That's a kill. I think that's worth it. Honestly, if this bl building gets blown over, that's fine by me because then we'll have more um, like terrain to use to our benefit. Actually, let's reserve the precision strike for something more interesting. I'm just going to fire a basic shot. I'm not trying to do anything too interesting with the crab. I'm just like kind of trying to wear them down for now. Okay, 
Okay, so let's like move out. Build up some good evasion. And this is what I want to use my precision strike on. And uh, I guess I'll try and take out the thunderbolt. Yeah, this is this is decent. Um, we have to do uh, 250 damage to the center torso to take it out completely. Um, or I can try and take out its arm. That's a lot of heat sinks that we would take out and a PPC. Yeah, let's take out the arm. Let's see how you like this. Oh, those are some really good hits. Target's taking a critical hit. We get to keep the evasion, which is nice. Like, I, I, the one thing that would suck about the Coil M is if we had to, like, forego the evasion bonus by, like, losing it. Um, they have more or less the same... Yeah, they don't have any evasion right now, so we are going to do another multi-hit with the PPCs. Those also do a lot to, uh, for, like, a stability damage. They'd pair well in a, in a mech that, like, is going for stability damage. Knocking over mechs is, is really nice. Ugh. I hate these guys. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, the UAC also has a preferred distance. Or is it just that... No, it's just the recoil damage that I, that is being represented there. So let's move over here. Um, I'm going to do a precision strike on that archer. I'm going to take off the UAC and we're going to try and blow that leg off. There we go. I don't think I blew the leg off, but I certainly knocked it over, which is what we're trying to achieve anyway. So we've got some vehicles coming our way. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? I can't, I can't not do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see if we can't. We can't hit with everything here, unfortunately. So we'll take the Coil M off. Um, take the, the SRM-6 actually generates quite a bit of heat. And then we'll take off a crit. Actually, we want a crit. Let's take off a accuracy M, medium laser. That's what I get. LRM M would destroy it. I mean, that's something. There's still something over there firing on us. Oof. Decker took a hit to the head, unfortunately. Let's move the crab up and see if we can't kill that archer. That's some good damage. Most of that was on the torso. King Crab is exposed. That was kind of what I was worried about. Um, what's her what's her accuracy right now? Only eighty five, huh? Well, let's see if we can't kill this thing. There we go. Okay, so it's just this thing, the Thunderbolt, which is you know it's it's quite a lot. How is it doing? Oh, the center torso is almost dead. We could just probably take it out right now. Got it. Forty-six percent chance. A surprisingly small amount of uh, odds of hitting it. Firing on target. But still. Oh, that wasn't enough, huh? Oh, I should have put the UAC on. Ah, uh, see, that's the problem with that strategy. My God, that's a lot of rockets. That's the problem with uh, that strategy is I'm I'm prone to forgetting things like that. Wonder if I if I generate a lot of evasion, does it count until the next turn? Probably not, huh?
Um, this is fine. Aye, aye. Let's see if we can't finish the job here. Still a small chance. Let's turn off some other stuff that's going to... I guess it's only 50 damage, so there's not really any point to put turning on the coil M. Yeah, and everything else is generating too much heat. So this is good enough. Engaging. There we go. One left target. I'm a little bit worried about these uh, vehicles. Not much armor left in that location. Let's see if we can't take out this vehicle at the very least. I'm going to turn off the LRM-15. We should be able to take it out with this. This is like an absurd amount of damage for something like this. Yeah, there, there we go. The crab can fire a couple of times right now without having to like hold back, which is quite nice. And then like, it's probably a good idea to like hide. Um, not a huge fan of what's going. Wow, there's a lot of vehicles coming our way. It's, um, yeah, the, the, the awesome is in kind of some danger right now. It's Shrek PPC carrier. Confirm. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have moved up, to be honest. We can probably kill it. It's got three PPCs, but so do I. I was hoping that would take it out. Oh god, another PPC carrier. And it's firing on the awesome. God damn it. Okay, glitch. You're gonna have to do some nice hits here. At least we have the UAC uh, off reserve, you know? Let's do a split shot. We should kill the... A with just a UAC and then we'll dedicate everything else to the B. Affirmative. Yeah, nice. Nice. That was great. Manticore. It's got a PPC and a bunch of short range missiles. The uh, Annihilator is still holding strong. Crab um, is, you know what, let's, let's can we run away a little bit with the crab? Because it, it, we can't really do anything right now when we're when we're overheating that badly. Same thing with the um, the battle master. Let's run away a little bit. Roger, full speed. Um, the awesome also needs to run away, so we're gonna be really letting the annihilator take a brunt. The brunt. Wow, um, the awesome almost, On the move. like, they took a, a shot to the head. The head is exposed right now. That's, like, really bad. Commander, reporting. Um, is there only the one thing left? So let's just hit it with everything, then. Commencing alpha strike. Cool. Wow, that wasn't too bad. It was actually not bad at all. Um, yeah, if Mich if we can, like, you know, I'm trying to make the most of all of our, um, you know, advantages. Everything got damaged there. I mean, that shows that, like, we're getting into tough territory here. Um, we do have two slots. Can, do we have any cool weapons we could take? We could take, take that, but I don't think that's worth it. Wow, I didn't really get anything cool. We do get two um, SRM6++s plus pluses and a++ plus 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 there. That's quite good. Also a gyro. Gyro and arm mods. That seems kind of cool. The rifleman seems kind of interesting. We got a rifleman part. Okay, we're gonna have to wait um, for quite a while while uh, all of our mechs um, repair. I am interested or tempted to buy that TTS. We do have enough money right now and I could sell some parts just to make sure that we don't 
end up too close to the red, you know, um, but uh, Yeah, I don't know that, that and that's tempting if we put that thing on the um, On the annihilator, I think it could be a really really good mech Kind of want to do that So I'm going to wait a minute. I thought we had five million. Oh Shoot, okay. I completely misread that we don't have five million not even close. Bummer. Okay. Having two annihilators would be kind of fun, but uh, we don't have nearly the points for that. All right, let's um, spend our experience. You know, a couple people in the hospital right now, but that's fine. Whoa. Okay, we can buy that. We can't quite get the last um, guts. And it's a good thing they, they uh, the overheat threshold is quite good. Uh, Big Simple is in like exactly the correct mech right now. Decker's got enough for the next gunnery. Glitch has enough for the next guts. She's not really in the right mech for that guts to make a difference. She should maybe swap with um, whoever was in the awesome. Uh, Mandrake doesn't wasn't in that mission. Uh, Medusa gets the tactics bonus. So that's Medusa kind of set up now. They should get some extra guts. Get that. Get a little bit of extra health. Recoil penalty isn't bad either. Okay. Um, so I think on the next mission or the next episode, we're going to do the campaign. Um, I think that it shouldn't be too bad. Things are, are looking pretty good. Um, okay. Ooh. Interesting. Early in the morning, Dr. Murad knocks on your door excitedly. Commander, we have a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm not supposed to share this, but Morgan Kell contacted me directly. He needs my expertise, expertise to study a rare piece of lost tech down the Morgan Kell the Morgan Kell I know he's a living legend Dr. Murad smiles widely unfortunately the there aren't many records on how 400 year old technology works I know it's a lot to ask but if you can grant me one week a half million sea bills and a dozen mech techs I think we can really help him not a bad potential ally right yeah that sounds really good commit all your resources to help Dr. Murad a ooh you gain one double heatsink. You lose 500,000. Company suffers a 10 tech point penalty for seven days. Well, we're, we just finished all our repairs, so that's great. After Dr. Murad returns from helping D Morgan Kell, she calls you to the command center. A hollow bit of Kell shimmers in the air. I regret not going to you directly, Commander, but my self-imposed exile hasn't kept the Curitans from hunting for me. It's hard to know who I can trust anymore, but I took a calculated risk with Dr. Murad. Dr. Murad played down her success, but she did far be uh, better work than my last engineer. She mentioned your contributions provided the final push she needed. I'll send over a token of thanks from my time in the periphery. Just don't go waving it around, okay? Uh, and one more thing, Kel pauses stroking his beard. If you ever hear any tales about a phantom mech, don't correct them. The hall of it blinks out and Kel vanishes. That sounds really cool. Um, I want to have a quick look. What? Oh, we we aren't doing a repair. I guess I didn't do my repairs. That was stupid. Um. Okay. The awesome is actually okay with for the heat sinks. Um. The Annihilator is fine. I think the Battle Master could definitely use some better heat sinks. So we'll go ahead and um, replace some of this stuff. We'll see if we can't make use of these. Yeah. So it's just a one heat sink D. Double heat sink. That's what that means. Okay. I mean, uh, I just paid 500,000 for a double heat sink and a little bit of lore. I mean, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Um, we could put the cockpit mod in here. I think that, that would be worth it. Uh, we're now, yeah, we need to put some more tons on, uh, more heat sinks on here. 
I think that this is good. Might take a little bit of um, armor off the backs and put... The, oh, I can't. I guess it doesn't... The ar back armor doesn't really count for much, does it? Oh, it does. Hold on. Yeah, this uh, seems like pretty good. Uh, actually, let's take some off the center torso, maybe. Okay, this uh, this is okay. If I hit this button, what what's gonna happen? Yeah, it just completely undid all of those changes I just made. And then there, okay. This seems good. Um, and then we'll repair the rest. I don't think that anything else needs changing all right um let's leave it at that if you are enjoying the series definitely hit that like button consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy